His Excellency Xiao Jinhua, the Ambassador of the People's Republic of China to the Republic of the Philippines and his party, Secretary Delpin and Lorenzana, Secretary of the National Defense, Yusek Arthur de Baquero, officials from the Department of National Defense, Yusek Cardoso Luna, Yusek Raimundo Elipante, Yusek Ricardo de Bid Jr., Yusek Reynaldo Mapago, Vice Admiral Narcisa Binson Jr., the Deputy Chief of Staff AP, Police Deputy Director General Ramon Apolinario, the Deputy Chief for Administration PNP, Major General Jab Yukoko, the, D the Deputy Chief of Staff for Logistics J4, and Police Director Jose Maria Victor Ramos, Directorate for Logistics PNP, other members of the Joint Staff, officers and listed personnel and civilian employees from the DND and the Armed Forces of the Philippines, other distinguished guests, our friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to everyone. Today's occasion again showcases the strength of the bond between two nations. Our countries, China and the Philippines, have a long-standing history of friendship and cooperation. Throughout the years, we have untiringly supported each other in so many ways. This can be readily seen in our culture and the many existing projects and programs geared to help our countrymen. We have continuously nurtured our friendship and pleasant relationship. There is a Chinese proverb that says, and I quote, to remove a mountain, we begin by carrying away the little stones, unquote. Indeed, by starting with seemingly simple things and gest gestures, we can do great things. As our world faces the emerging threat of war without borders, that is terrorism, the need to have a continuous interaction and mutual support for each other has become more vital. The task of preventing terroristic acts may seem gargantuan, but with the concerted efforts of everyone, we are sure that we will win the fight. On behalf of the, of the men and women of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, I gratefully accept this military gratis assistance from the People's Republic of China. This is the second iteration of the donation of military equipment over and above the hefty monetary support extended for our casualties and wounded personnel in the battlefield of Marawi. For all this benevolence, the AP expresses our sincerest gratitude to the Chinese government for its continuing valuable assistance to the Philippines, particularly to the AP. The timing of this delivery cannot be overemphasized as the AP, in partnership and close coordination with the Philippine National Police, is now in the final push in our intensified, focused military operations against the lawless elements of the multi ISIS terrorist group. These 3,000 units of type CQ-A5B 5.56 millimeter assault rifles, complemented with 3 million rounds of ammunition and 90 sets of various low-light scopes, will add to our ongoing offensives as this will augment our existing firepower and capability. Furthermore, even after the conclusion of the ongoing Marawi siege, this equipment will be of great value to our operations in the future. More than the cost of what has been surplusly given to us, this act of support further strengthens our growing partnership as nations and enhancing cooperation as armed forces. This also manifests our strong commitment to secure peace and promote stability in the region. This relays a clear message that we are against terrorism and hand in hand, we will deal accordingly with those who wish to sow seeds of such evils in the region. Terrorism knows no boundaries, no colors, no religion, no race. It is a serious, it is a serious threat and thwarting this manage would warrant multinational cooperation amongst all stakeholders. On our end, the AP fully reaffirms its commitment to such a noble, a noble endeavor. Once again, thank you very much for your valuable donations. Good morning, and may we all have a fruitful day ahead.